for you. The goal today is to get through to the end of the day without drinking. It's to literally get into bed, roll over and go to sleep without alcohol. And I'm gonna walk you through a few ways we're gonna do that today. Number one, drink lots of water. Number two, breath or breathe. Number three, something called the daily 20, which I'll explain in a second. And number four, the power of language, what you will do versus what you will not do, okay? So step number one, drink lots of water today, okay? It's your first day. I know this is really simple, but if you are not drinking alcohol, we wanna replace that with something else, and that is healthy liquid. So soda water, Pellegrino, uh, ice, water, piece of lime, anything else that has no alcohol in it but we want lots of it, okay? We wanna flush out the system. This is essentially like a three-day detox. So we wanna make sure that we're putting lots of water down our throat. Water hydrates us, it's really good for our skin, and not only that, it flushes out the toxins. So today, this morning, tonight, whatever, go and buy some water, some spring water, some healthy water, stock up your fridge, get rid of alcohol, remove those visual cues, and just drink lots of water. Really, really important, okay? Uh, number two is the power of breath. Now, when you have a craving tonight, today, whenever that is, because let's face it, you're probably living a busy life. You get stressed at the end of the day. You've been at work all day. You come home and you have this habit of opening a bottle of wine or drinking a beer or having a scotch or whiskey or whatever it is. And it's a ritual now, right? And you're stressed. You're like, oh, I just want to have a drink and relax. It's been a tiresome day. It's been a stressful day. I get that. But Instead of pouring toxins down our throat and being stuck in this vicious cycle, we want to just change our state. Because here's the thing, you don't want to drink alcohol to reduce your stress and anxiety. You just want to reduce your stress and anxiety. And you can do that a million different ways. The most important or the most easily readily um, way is breath. So I'm going to show you this exercise now. We're going to breathe in for two and out for one. It's so simple. It's like this. Now you have that inside you all the time. And even now as I've just done that, I'm actually feeling a little bit energized. My whole state is actually changing. They've done studies of the human brain, the human body that shows just by the power of breath, you can reduce that craving for alcohol, for bad food, for any kind of stressful situation that you feel like you are in. So remember, you're not actually wanting to drink alcohol to reduce your stress and anxiety and to relax at the end of the day. You just want to reduce your stress and anxiety and relax at the end of the day. And breathing is the cheapest, quickest, most easily available technique that we have. So just try that. Breathe in for two and out for one. And really notice how your whole physiology, physiology changes as a result of doing that. Number three is called the daily 20. Now, let me explain what that is. I write 20 things that I'm grateful for every single morning, and I name this the daily 20. 20 things I'm grateful for. Now, you might be listening going, 20, that's insane, that's so many. Can I just do two or three? Well, you can just do two or three, but it's not as effective as if you try to do 20. And I'll tell you why. This is my gratitude book here, and I'll just give you a couple of examples. Here are a couple pages here where I've written out 20 things I'm grateful for. It only takes about seven to 10 minutes each day. A couple more pages and pages of things that I'm grateful for. And when I force myself to do 20 things that I'm grateful for, what it does is that it activates something in my brain called the reticular activating system, otherwise known as your RAS. Now, when you are searching for 20 things to feel grateful for and it feels like work, like what else am I grateful for? That RAS is activated and now when you go about the rest of your day, you will just start to automatically see things to be grateful for. So the more you force yourself to write 20 things that you're grateful for, the more you will naturally see many other things to be grateful for in your life. Now, what causes us to drink alcohol, stress, and anxiety? It's living a life of expectation rather than appreciation. So doing this daily 20, where you're writing in that notebook and you're writing down 20 things that you're grateful for every day, the science has proven this repeatedly. Your stress and anxiety drops, which means your 
desire for a drink drops, which means your stress and anxiety drops, which means you sleep better, you feel better, you have an overarching feeling of joy and well-being, which means you're not willing or you're less willing to then go and pour toxins down your throat. This has been proven time and time and again. And I've put so many people through my quit alcohol programs now and time and again they say to me that doing the daily 20, these 20 things that you're grateful for each day, reduces stress and anxiety and reduces your cravings. As crazy as it may sound, try it. I promise you this is gonna have a huge impact in your life around your drinking, okay? Fourth thing is, I want you to focus on what you will do today. So I don't want you to focus on not drinking alcohol like this. I don't want you to go, oh, don't drink alcohol, I shouldn't drink tonight, I can't drink. No, instead, I want you to focus on what you will do. And what you will do today is drink lots of water, do your daily 20, and breathe. All the science and the studies of the human brain show that when you tell yourself what to do, the likelihood of you doing that increases exponentially. When you say to yourself, don't do this, the chances that you actually do the thing you don't want to do increases. So if you say, don't drink alcohol, I've got to quit alcohol, don't drink today, don't drink today, don't drink today, then you're thinking about drinking. And so then you're more likely to drink. But instead, if you say, I will easily drink lots of water. Today, I just drink lots of water. Today, I do my breathing exercises. Today, I'm doing my daily 20. And you just tell yourself what you will do, not what you won't, then we will get through today alcohol free. Your goal really is just to get into bed tonight, turn off the light, roll over, and be alcohol free for the day. That's really the goal. Just get through today, get into bed, turn off the lights, and just don't put alcohol to your mouth. Only do what you will do, which is drink lots of water, breathe, try the daily 20 in gratitude, and keep reminding yourself what you will do. So that's it. That's day one. I know it seems really simple, it is really simple, but it's, it's sometimes as challenging when you've had a whole adulthood of drinking alcohol and coming home at the end of the day and relaxing with this poison and toxin. I know it's hard to change the habit, but if we just drink lots of water, get alcohol out of the house, we breathe, we live a life of appreciation rather than expectation by doing the daily 20, which will reduce our stress and anxiety, and we focus on what we will do, then you'll get into bed tonight, turn off the light, roll over and go to sleep, and wake up tomorrow morning feeling so much better, and you will have taken the first step in your alcohol-free journey.